What's going on everybody? I hope you're all having a great day and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the three lies about the housing market crash. Right now you might be a home buyer, an investor, or a spectator and your mind is just unknown. You have no clue what's happening or what's gonna happen to the housing market. You're hearing a ton of different things from a ton of different people and nobody is speaking the same language. One person thinks it's gonna crash, the other one thinks it's the new normal, and the other one thinks it's gonna keep going up and all these people are respectable figures and you're just like what the heck i know i know it's tough so in this video i'm sharing with you the three lies about the housing market crash and to be honest with you the third point is probably the one you're most gonna love so make sure you stick around to not miss it and as always guys if you get any value from this video please hit that free like button and let's dive right into it housing market lie number one the housing market is stronger than ever. This one, when I hear it, I'm blown away. Let me explain to you. It's not stronger than ever. It's more damaged than ever. There is zero balance, zero reality, and there is no consistency in this market. You got buyers paying hundreds of thousands of dollars over asking price. You got roughly 1 million homes on the market for sale with the National Association of Realtors saying there's 1.45 million real estate agents agents. Basically, all these real estate agents competing for the 1 million homes on the market. Where's the balance? You also have a massive backlog on all these properties that should be foreclosed on, should be evicted, and should be listed on the market for sale. So when you say the housing market is stronger than ever, if you're just speaking based off of what you're seeing, you list a home and you sell it, maybe you have that stance. But Overall, when you dig deep in it, it's more damaged than ever. And I'm sure so many of you can agree and even relate to that seeing how the housing market has been. So housing market lie number one, the housing market is stronger than ever. And housing market lie number two is when you hear house prices will keep going up. This is the new normal. Just saying that raises my blood pressure. If you're a home buyer, an investor, or someone who's just been spectating, I'm sure it raises your blood pressure too. We don't wanna hear that house prices are gonna keep going up. Now, if it's the truth, we'll just accept it. But it's far from the truth and let me explain. What happens when interest rates go up? What happens when supply picks up? What happens when builders outbuild? What happens when there's so much more opportunity for home buyers because now neighborhoods have a ton of homes on the market for sale? What happens, what happens, what happens? So when you say house prices are gonna keep going up, did you not think of all of those what happens? Let me give you a little more explanation in more depth. Specifically speaking on interest rates right now, interest rates literally define real estate. It defines from your returns, from your purchase price, from your monthly payments. A deal can literally not make sense if your interest rates eat the returns. So when rates are down, investors are hungry and buyers are hungry, they wanna lock in those low rates. So when interest rates are up, many deals don't make sense, meaning many purchases are are not happening meaning house prices or real estate prices go down and the same applies for home buyers when the interest rates are down they're motivated they look at that monthly payment and they're like woohoo when interest rates go up they lose a ton of purchasing power they can no longer buy the home of their dreams that they wanted and most importantly they can no longer afford it because their monthly payments went up a clear example for you to understand this a little bit more is this for example you purchase a home for five hundred thousand dollars this $500,000 home is at a 3% interest rate on a 30 year mortgage. This will make the monthly mortgage price equal to $2,108.02. Now to get that same exact monthly mortgage payment because that's what you can only afford, look at the numbers and how they shift when the interest rates go up. That same $500,000 home that you wanted is now at a 5.5% interest rate on a 30 year mortgage. You can now only afford the home at $371,269. Where once you can afford a $500,000 home, it now became a $371,000 home. A difference of literally $128,731 just because the interest rates went up. Your purchasing power gets defeated when interest rates go up. That's why when interest rates are down, house prices and real estate skyrockets because the demand is there and everybody is trying to lock in those long 30-year fixed mortgages. So as you can see, the higher the rate, 
the more it can actually price you out as a buyer. Now that I explained that a little bit more, we wanna jump into real estate is cycles. We understand that it goes up and it goes down. It goes up and it goes down. So when you tell me that the market's the new normal and you tell me that prices are gonna keep going up, how does that make sense when you look back at the charts, the historical charts? Now this doesn't mean a crash if prices go down. So many say, oh my God, if prices go down, it's a crash. No can be a correction, it can be a pullback, it can be consolidating, trying to figure out where it's gonna go, but we're not speaking strictly a crash, we're just speaking that historically, prices go up and prices also come down. Now, many preach that this is the new normal, and to an extent, this could be true in certain markets, maybe in Texas, maybe in Florida, maybe in the markets that have insane demand. And even these markets that have insane demand, they can still feel a pullback or a correction. I'm in Dallas, Texas, and I'm already feeling it in our market. Some pockets in some areas have a ton more negotiation, are staying on the markets longer, and are not getting the prices that the sellers want. So where does all this leave off to? Supply and demand. If there's a ton of supply and there's not that much demand, then you already know what's gonna happen. So housing market lie number two is basically house prices are gonna keep going up and this is the new normal. <laughs> housing market lie number three. The housing market is going to crash guaranteed. Look, I know so many of you are praying for this. I'm not gonna tell you it's not gonna crash, but I know a lot of you are praying for it to crash. Now we talk about the mortgage forbearance is delaying the housing market crash. We talk about the eviction moratoriums are delaying the housing market crash. We talk about the foreclosure moratoriums delaying the housing market crash. We talk about the stimulus packages delaying the housing market crash. We heard those who approved the stimulus packages literally say we are doing this to prevent a crash. Literally saying if we don't do this, a crash will happen. So we know that this is literally kicking the can down the road. Now, all that being said, this still does not guarantee a crash happening in the markets. The governments can literally keep pumping and making the markets look alive to let it keep staying healthy. Healthy, quote unquote, even though we know it's not healthy and we know down the line it's going to explode. The truth comes down to this. How long can the governments keep backing up the market to not letting it explode or crash? Will there be another catalyst, maybe not something we see, but another catalyst that forces the market to crash? Just like we saw in the pandemic where we didn't expect it, we were in a strong market and it forced the world to shut down. It forced $5 trillion to be printed to make the markets not die out and crash. It forced interest rates to shoot down to make people wanna get more loans to make the market get stimulated. Now, what will be this other catalyst? As you guys saw in China, the second largest property developer, Evergrande, literally defaulted in making their payments on 300 plus million dollars. If you didn't hear about this, I made a video that I'm gonna link it up top for you to check out. Literally, when the entire market heard this, it shook the United States economy and the Chinese economy, the world in whole hearing that gave fears. Evergrande was being compared to the Lehman Brother collapse. That's how big it was. The Chinese market right now is devastated. You have people crying, trying to get their money out the real estate markets. Over there is literally a real estate bubble. Prices are unbelievable. And as we see with Evergrande, things aren't looking too good. Now, this is just a hint of you never really know what can cause the markets to crash, what can make houses prices go down, what can make what you might be dreaming for a housing crash to actually happen. So lie number three is the housing market crash is guaranteed. I know that you guys would love for that to be the case. I explained to you why there's a lot of possibility for that, but as of right now, that's a lie, so you're gonna get a so there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are the three lies about the housing market crash and I really hope that it opened up your brain to realize and think a little more deeper from my perspective as well and hearing what I have to say. If you didn't already hit the like button, it's for free and it makes this video get pumped up to other people just like you. And if you didn't already, which I don't know why you wouldn't, hit the subscribe button. I upload three times every week and I'd love to see you all there. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Be safe and understand that you gotta be prepared if a housing market crash does happen so you could swallow up them deals. All right, guys, take it easy and I'll see you all later. I'm out.